Okay, I got another. I'm gonna make another video on these rotary converters because uh, it seems like uh, these days we um, we're concentrating a lot on renewable power with uh, photovoltaics and uh, you know basically uh, any sort of renewable off-grid system usually will have a battery bank and they'll have an electronic inverter that takes DC power and turns it into AC power but if anybody who's ever used an electronic inverter for off-grid system on like regularly uh, we'll find that electronic inverters tend to uh, they tend to uh, malfunction and break fairly easily because of all the components that are on the inside you got transformers diodes you know, all kinds of uh, parts inside the electronic inverters that if one component breaks then the whole unit is no longer any good and I like it these rotary converters, this is a 24 volt to 120, 24 volt DC to 120 AC. This one's 35 volts DC to 120 volt AC. And it's like a universal AC motor with a commutator and two coils on the outer stator, but it's got slip rings that are joined to the rotor on the far side of the commutator from the commutator for an AC output. So instead of putting DC in and making a motor turn, you're putting DC in and getting AC out with the slip ring. So it's a dynamo and a AC generator all put together in one unit. And I found these two units online. Uh, I, I very rarely see rotary converters for sale. So when I saw one, I bought it really quickly. And then I saw another one that looked just like it. But it was just the input voltage was different. But they're both the, about the same output though. And I have this little Hertz meter over here to kind of keep track of its power usage. So I got like a little grinder wheel here. And I got a little skill saw. So the skill saw kind of takes a lot out of a lot out of it. So the skill saw is, uh, let's see, it is a 15 amp skill saw, 120 volt, it doesn't say wattage, but 15 amps is quite a bit of uh, AC juice. So this, this rotary converter can put out probably anywhere from 10 to 25 amps of uh, AC power with uh, 35 volts of DC that I have in these six volts here. So these units are much more reliable. They have these components on the inside, but these are for a secondary outlet that's on the side. It says it's for refrigeration, but um, uh, both the side outlets on both of these units uh, don't have any power output. So I'm not, I know it's got a solenoid in here, it's got these little uh, AC relay switches that actually turn the converter on. But as far as the uh, DC capacitors and all the other components in there, they all feed to the outlet that's on the side that, does, that doesn't seem to have any power output. So I'm still, I, I can't find any diagrams or anything for this, these com units. So it's kind of uh, guesswork why those outlets on the sides don't work. But, um, it does have the appliance outlet on the front that does work, and that's pretty much where the main power comes from. 
So they are mechanical inverters and as the power of the batteries go down they start to slow down their speeds and that's why I have this Hertz gauge right here. When I see it get low then I know that the um, speed of the converter is getting low and the power output is getting low. So that's my indicator that I'm getting low power. The Carter company still makes these but you have to call and request them to build you one. I, these are their second to largest ones. They have a, another one that's larger that's a 2000 watt output converter. Um, not sure how big it is but I, these were the only two converters that I found online ever so I bought them up quickly. Any other converter that I found online are all these little tiny ones that only put out like a half an amp of AC power. These ones actually can be used has for some off-grid uh, power systems here so this I think are is much more reliable off-grid um, DC to AC power system versus using an electronic inverter that can um, that can fail very easily so uh, and it seems like that these units are kind of just not talked about they're not really hidden I mean you can look up rotary transformer or rotary converter and find out all kinds of information on these units but you never see any of them ever for sale there's no current company that's like making them on the regular to sell as a product uh, just this Carter company seems to have a history of making them and they can still make them but they I, I don't know they don't get enough demand or something for them to have like a regular product that can be sold uh, to customers that are coming on the regular. I guess they may not. Have, I don't know. The demand for these units are are not is not there, and I think it's just due to a lack that there's no information about them. You look up uh, DC to AC power, and all you get is information on electronic inverters, and pretty much slim to nil information on the, to use these rotary converters. I read that somewhere that these uh, these converters were used commercially for subways to power subway uh, trains and stuff like that. So they had really, really, really big ones in like the subway basement area of New York City. But as for residential and home use, uh, you just don't see any products like this out there in the market anymore. And I think there should be. They should, they should rebuild these machines and they should think about making them for mechanical off-grid systems versus the electrical ones that have a tendency to fail more often than none. So, more power to the rotary converters, rotary transformers, and uh, try to get the word out there because it seems like anybody with an off-grid power system is not using these units. Well, at least I don't see anybody using them. So, okay, well, that's this video on rotary transformers and rotary converters. And we'll see if uh, we can find uh, one that's even larger than these ones someday.